हेलो एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग इट इज़ टाइम टू डी कोड द ई टी वेल्थ न्यूज़ पेपर एंड आई एम प्रियंका भाटिया फ्रॉम वेमन ऑन वेल्थ हाउ आर वी प्लीज स्टार्ट टाइपिंग एवरीबॉडी इज ज्वाइनिंग इन नाउ यू मस्ट शेयर हाउ यू आर एंड वेल आई एम सिटिंग राइट आउटसाइड माई हाउस बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ अ सडन वेन आई वॉज जस्ट बिगिनिंग ऑन द डी कोडिंग द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वेंट ऑफ दिस इज इंडिया so yes i'm right around in the veranda of my house um supporting you guys with the live hi sheetal good morning good morning my people who all are around please start typing and can you hear me clearly is my voice clear am i audible yes hi kaveri happy women's day my women good morning Yes, Sheetal. Okay, great. Hi, Divya. Hey, Pooja. Good morning. Just yesterday, Pooja and I were together, and we did a beautiful session on waking women up to their finances. Hi, Sheetal. Yes, got that. So you guys can hear me. Little softer, but clear. Okay, I think this is the best I can do outside. You will hear all the crows, the birds, the. the people selling the vendors everybody okay so today get ready for a different experience so today we are going to talk about the different reasons okay the different reasons which make women better investors it is women's day and yesterday and today the newspaper is filled with all the women related stuff so well that's the conversation we are going to have today what make women better investors Hi Archana good morning Okay so couple of stats from the ED wealth newspaper okay the first stat is only one in eight women make their own financial decisions Yeah isn't this surprising well maybe not because we've been talking about it for quite long time there only one in eight women make their own financial decisions other seven allow the men in their lives the husband the father the brother the broker to determine their financial lives so these are the stats okay um well it's a pity it's sad at least where i am because if one in eight women are taking charge the seven are still really dependent and do we want to change this stat well all of us need to decide that together because one me or my team of four women can't do it without you hey jyoti yes women's day every day official reminder today yes good morning sindhuri so warren buffet invest like a girl this is a book by louis and lofton and she explains why women are better investors than men uh so here are the many reasons that she is stating and there are many that i will add from my experience of 10 years with women number 1 women spend more time researching their investment choices well i've seen this in the last 10 years as i have been training women in how to pick good quality investments you all know there is a proper step by step methodology to pick good quality mutual funds there is a proper step by step methodology to pick good quality stocks there is a method to build an investment portfolio so um you know with my experience i have seen women really really research well on their investments while a lot of men that you know that i met they just wanted quick answers that you do the research and tell me which are the good investments no when it came to women they really learned and they used that skill to pick the right choices and then they persisted with it the biggest advantage of studying investments on your own is that you can actually persist with them for a very long time because you have absolute clarity on what you've picked why you've picked it and that gives you a lot of confidence to kind of sustain that investment for a long time because if you don't persist with the investment for a long time good quality investment for a long time you ain't going to generate sustainable wealth so that's the key okay so that's one number 2 is that they don't chase returns 
so women do not chase returns and i've seen this once i've explained women in the money jump program the financial goals how to identify them the financial security pillars and then when i teach them financial planning and how to build an investment portfolio and how to pick good quality investments i see that women start chasing their goals and when women start chasing their goals half the battle is won because then you're very focused you're extremely organized when it comes to your way of thinking your mindset the route that takes you there so this entire structure that women adopt to okay women anyways are pretty organized yeah we all are known to be neat and organized and beautiful so we tend to use this beauty of organization in our lives financial lives so not chasing returns but chasing our goals building financial foundation building our financial security that becomes the key um letting go of risky trades you know once i have shown women what is possible for them with long term investing once i've managed to show them what is possible for them i have seen women go beyond you know any of the risky propositions that they come across through the husband father broker advisor or anybody rather i have seen that women get into meaningful conversations to actually examine if what they are saying can contribute to their financial goals so what i have seen is women don't shy away from taking support they don't shy away from having meaningful conversations once they have learned something they are willing to learn they have an open mind they are not women who are of a closed mindset they are willing to learn they are open minded they have an open heart you know they can receive they can really listen i think listening is a skill which is really really missing in people but i have seen that with once i train women right in financial skill building i can see that a lot of listening gets built there's lot of eagerness where you know we want to listen we want to see if there is a possibility that we have missed on and i think these are some of the very very positive you know attributes to women i have written more well they so soak in information they really really soak in information than just challenging you know um i think for me it has never been can we be better than men no i mean what is this better than men or men better than us i think the game is lost once you do that so it's about really can we be better than our own selves what we were yesterday i think that's the game that's where we want to be right so the key is in comparison to who we were yesterday are we better today can we soak in more information can we listen learn assess do we have tools built and instead instead of resisting the tools can we accept you know we have seen so many changes happen in our lives we are more adaptive to changes women especially right so when you teach them tools or you teach them new ways of thinking there's far more reception to that information that i have seen so more open more receptive listening asking questions a lot of women ask really interesting questions once you teach them something more consistent more goal oriented more patient a lot of people run after making some get rich quick bucks and i have seen once we teach the basics to women we go beyond yeah we go beyond generating quick returns and we become far more goal oriented so having the right attitude goal orientation less reactive to market situations like in march 2020 when the market crashed our community you know a couple of women were um anxious but they were not reacting 
and the older investors so women who are like you know a couple of years old into the community they were really taking care of the other women who were anxious and there was no reaction nobody in our community sold when the market was crashing because they had each other's support they had each other's back you know the women who were anxious were supported and then i could notice everybody was just buying and that's the key that's a community right where nobody is left behind everybody is taken care of and we move together together right like um, you know women supporting women i think i have seen that in my community i have no doubt about it yeah barring one or two women that i can count on my fingers in the last 10 years i have seen women after women supporting each other yeah that's the key i love what uh, kaveri is creating and i want to read this she's saying it isn't a competition between genders we all need to fix the biases and boxes holding each of us back brilliant today is the day we remember that although we may enjoy so many freedoms and have the opportunity to take charge of our lives many women around the world still don't have access to such freedoms we need to rededicate ourselves to helping all our fellow women everywhere none of us is free till our, all of us are free and this is why we need to really join hands because otherwise it won't turn out like i always think so what if one priyanka creates wealth you know so what if a couple of thousand women create wealth there's a far more larger community that needs to get impacted and yes kaveri community is everything yeah i mean power of one power of a couple of lakhs crores could be another game and i think that's the game that's the movement that we need to bring into the world okay more okay the percentage of women investing in the stock market in equities has increased from 16% to 25% in the last 2 years so these are the stats which are coming up women are looked at as careful borrowers the default rate like women who borrow money they, they default they are very few compared to men so women are careful bo- borrowers low default rates where they are there is data which is proving that the credit score of women is better than that of men and um so also it is being said that women seem to be more organized they pay taxes in advance they are not the ones who are paying last minute so yeah better organization less reaction more patient less panicked when the markets go down they want to add more when the markets go down instead of selling panicking and that is only when you know you have bought good quality investments not otherwise um studies have shown that women's portfolio tend to outperform because they are not as reactive to the developments as men are well forget the men you know i would say that yes i've seen that in my community um with portfolio building i have seen women sustain those portfolios and then we have community members who today say that they have 40% to 400% rates of return on their investments and this is all because of the research that they did the patience they kept the organization that they have with regard to the finances the clarity in their mind the mindset that they've built you know the ways they think and how they use the system ongoingly so they're they're pretty systemic that way yeah systematic that way and they are like really moving towards generating more and more returns for their financial goals so yeah i i absolutely agree with this well there are more um intraday traders yeah than m- women so you know it is being said that in fact a vast majority of traders so people who trade every day in the stock market and speculators in stocks they lose money 
I'm repeating this because I really find this interesting. I think this opens eyes for many of us. It is a fact that a vast majority of traders and speculators in stocks lose money. Since women don't speculate, they don't lose money. So I've been saying we're not in the business of speculating. We're not in the business of gambling. Can we really stick to long-term investing? There is far more money which is possible with long-term investing. And with this also what is possible is we put our finances on autopilot. So we learn to pick good quality investments. We pick them. We put them on autopilot. Review happens once a year at max once in six months. And you just keep persisting. That's the key. That is all that is needed to really make it to your financial goals. You know, we, we think that there is a lot to be done to reach our goals. Not really. If we can take just some actions, okay, just those um 20% actions to get the 80% results, that's it. And I really focus there, you know. A lot of women tell me, oh, you don't, you know, teach so many basics. You don't teach so much theory. I don't understand everything. You don't need to understand everything. You just need to get the 20% of it. And you need to get the 20% actions that you need to take to get that 80% result. You know, you don't need to know everything. And how many of us really have the time and the energy to just know everything? So can we be selective in our information? Can we really soak in the 20% and really soak that in well? And then make it to our goals. So that's what I have to share today. Please start typing. What are you learning? What are you taking away, guys? What are you understanding? Please start typing. Hi Ritu, good morning. Mukta, good morning. So start typing. What are you getting? Understanding, learning. Rakhi, love you. <laughs> Don't scare anyone with money. You keep the cool and so do we. Absolutely. Why scare each other, right? We love each other. Why would I scare somebody I so love? And I, I truly love each one of you. I know what it takes to do what you're doing. I have tread the path before you. I know how hard it is. So I, I just love each one of you. <laughs> Usha, releasing the power of women, realizing the power of women. Yes, absolutely, realizing it all. Sunita, we don't need to know everything of the ocean. Focus on the key part. Yeah, let's focus on where we need to be uh, moving around. No more stereotyping in finance, Arokya. Yes, let's do that together. Sindhu. Long-term goals are better and be knowledgeable while you invest and leave the rest. Yes, do your best, leave the rest. One of my mentors says, do not speculate anything. Brilliant. Ritu, the success of every woman on wealth women is an inspiration to another because we follow a system and we are stronger because we cheer for each other. Proud to be a part of such an inspiring community. Thank you. This is brilliant. Sindhuri, have patience, preserver, perseverance, keep it simple, just keep investing. Aim big. Yeah, don't think small. My parents always say, don't think small at all. Kaveri, power of compounding of wealth and compounding of the community. Arpita, have patience and keep learning. Be content with the little learnings and keep the attitude towards learning more. Yeah. Prishali. Informed decision for long-term success. Rakhi, maximum people are swimmers, but we are the ones with the lifeboats. Yes, we are the ones with the lifeboats and each other. We are each other's lifeboats, isn't it? Like, I am clear. I become alive each time I come in contact with each one of you. 
सो थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग हियर कैन आई इनवाइट टुडे ईच पर्सन इन द कम्युनिटी टू शेयर दिस वीडियो प्लीज गो अहेड शेयर दिस वीडियो लेट अस रियली बिल्ड दिस इनटू अ मूवमेंट वेयर वी मूव टुगेदर एंड वेक अप अदर वुमेन टू देयर फाइनेंसेस बिकॉज ईच वन ऑफ अस नीड टू बी डूइंग दैट सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर टुडे शेयरिंग दिस वीडियो विथ से अ वुमेन्स डे मैसेज it's time begin sharing i am waiting archana you're proud to be a part of the 26% women's presence in equity my friend i am proud of you for what you've caused as part of the continued learning i plan to buy the book warren buffett invest like a girl and why you should too sure and let me know how it's going Arokya Savita thank you for sharing this video who else is joining us i want each woman joining us today it can't be that we can make women financially successful without each other's support got that maya thank you rakhi thank you for sharing the video kaveri shared saying invest like a woman Yes be a woman invest like a woman there is no comparison we have with men and why compare they are their individual selves i love my dad i love my um brother i love my nephew i love each man in my life right so let's really um let them be and let our own selves be we are our individual selves and we don't need to be in competition with anybody if priyanka is in competition with anybody it's priyanka her own self i want to be better than who i was yesterday or one minute before hi diksha rakhi thank you for sharing the video on your timeline absolute joy having each one of you with me in this women's day and in this women's year let's together create a lifetime of women opportunities possibilities and creation let's break barriers and make sure that each woman takes charge of your of their finances loads of love everyone stay safe and i see you now again on thursday for the investment mastery series till then keep working on your money life loads of love and happy women's day to each one bye bye